We bailed out. We we printed three hundred billion new dollars. I love this guy. To bail out the Silicon Valley Bank, and we topped off the Ukraine war commitment to one hundred thirteen billion. So we got lots of money for the for the military industrial complex. Lots of money for the bankers. You know the banksters, but. We're starving Americans to death. Starving them. And he- um, obviously, he's following in the footsteps of say shit that you're not allowed to say so that they try to murder you. I mean, mad respect, but I, we'll see how it works out. Uh, he's also on another clip talking about glyphosate and Monsanto and all the Roundup Ready shit. So Roundup Ready corn and Roundup Ready soybeans, those get sprayed during the growing cycle and then it gets washed off. Well, he's saying that if wheat gets ready to harvest and then it rains, the wheat turns moldy. But glyphosate is a desiccant, which means it dries it out. So they're spraying glyphosate on wheat when it's time to harvest to make sure it doesn't go moldy and that's not getting washed off because that's being sprayed on food so between that and this uh, I mean I'm sure they won't let him win the primary they'll insert their candidate but um, I'm excited to see him on the Democratic ticket really really excited his, because of all the inflation, we spent $16 trillion on the lockdown. We wasted, got nothing for it. $8 trillion on the Ukraine war. That's $24 trillion that they had to print to pay for nothing. That money, the way they're paying it back, they're not going to tell us they're raised taxes because you can't do that. It's a hidden tax called inflation, and it hits the poor and the middle class, and it has dismantled the middle class in this country. Well, my friends, food bills for basic foods like chicken, dairy, and eggs has increased 76% in two years to pay for the Iraq war, or the Ukraine war, the Iraq war, and the lockdowns. His food prices are going up. And now the government's telling him, while we have plenty of money for the military and the banks, we don't have it for Americans who are you know, hardworking people. And, uh, you know, something is not right. We don't have, we're in a crisis in this country. We're in, you know, and we. Yeah. Imagine if politicians actually, or well, politician, let's not involve anybody else at the moment, but imagine if the president was actually talking about things that normal people care about, things that are affecting normal people and actually trying, hopefully, to push back against this. Because I know he would have the support of the U.S. citizens. We're all getting effed right in the Right in the A by the same people that he's talking about. We need to start looking at, we need to start unraveling the empire. We have 800 bases abroad. We were told after, in 1992, when the, when the Soviet Union collapsed, we were told we were going to get a peace dividend, that the military expenditure was going to, going to go from $600 billion a year to $200 billion, and we were going to stop making billion dollar stealth bombers that can't fly in the rain never gonna and happen. that we're gonna they take that money home and build them. schools with it and build infrastructure and give health care good health care no in the inner cities and then none of that happened and today instead of going down to 200 billion it's gone up the total military expenditure if you include national security is 1.3 billion and it hasn't made trillion. us safer it's made us worse off you know 1.3 trillion 1.3 trillion if you include yeah i think you said billion no 1.3 trillion if you include national you know this the security apparatus and you know the, all this stuff that you have to walk through at the airports and if you include uh, the 300 so those x-rays at the airport that's the only time the fda's ever approved you getting x-rayed you getting bombarded with radiation for non-medical purposes 100 billion uh to uh, the veterans, which you can't cut. You know, the veterans are, you know, are, they're, 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 we have 29 a day killing themselves. You know, this, this, these wars are not good for our country or our kids, and we need to stop being an empire and instead come home, rebuild the middle class, and then project 
economic power the way the Chinese do, who are eating our lunch because they know not to prevent to project military power, they to project economic power. That's how you win the hearts and minds of the world and national security. Absolutely incredible. I hope that he gets a chance to um How do you get out of the Ukraine war? Talk more um, you know, he's, uh, he's anti, uh, not complete anti-corporate interests and neither am I. I, I just, I just want, um, by the way, that was not on Joe's official channel. That was just a clip that someone else uploaded. So man, there's, there's a bunch of stuff that they're not letting go up. He was censored on CBS, I believe. Um, no, I don't have that open, but, um, Yeah, I'm excited. This um, this is the first time I've been excited to hear what a politician has to say in a very long time. So um, maybe there's some hope this time. Instead of getting fed a shit sandwich and a turd burger or whatever South Park was saying last election, hopefully we actually get a chance to vote for someone who's going to make some, some actual changes um, and not be an extremist, you know? Extreme left and extreme right need to be put in their place by the people that are in the center and just want to enjoy life and and not push <laughs> agendas, you know? Let's just get along, make life good for everybody. I don't understand all this posturing and fighting. Does It doesn't do any, no benefit to anybody except for the people who want to consolidate power and take more for themselves. <laughs> 